Well, hello there. I'm Lance Cadena, and I just wanted to show you some really cool software and application that I have on my iPad, but you can have it on your iPhone, you can have it on an Android phone, you can have it on tablets, you can put it on your computer, and it's called the iFi, and it's a card that goes into almost every point-and-shoot camera. Some high-end cameras use a SD card, and that's what's in here is the SD card. We'll talk a little bit more about that here in a minute. But what it does is it tethers wirelessly from my camera, and I take a picture, and it pops up on whatever device you're looking to pop it up on. And I'm looking to hook mine up to the um, looking to hook mine up to my iPad. So the first thing I need to do, and you know, the neat thing about this company. The iFi company is they're very supportive. The technology is is uh, quite uh, awesome. They they do a very nice job. So the first thing you need to do before you start to hook it up is it needs to find uh, the the iPad needs to find the chip in the card. So you you've got to take a test shot just to wake up the iPad. So I'm just going to shoot my models here. I've got Santa and the snowman. So I'm just going to take a quick shot here. And what that does is it says, hey, to the iPad, you've got something that's going on that, that wants to connect. So it's going to look here in a second. It's going to take, you know, maybe less than a minute to actually find the, the device in the camera. And it's looking now. There it is. It found it. I'm going to select the iFi card. I'm going to go now and open up my iFi software. And the first thing it does, it's going to look for that shot that I just took. So it's going to take some time. So as it's doing that, and it'll take about 30 seconds, let me explain a little bit about the card. Uh, there's three cards, I believe. One has a blue label, one has a red label, and one has a gray label. I have the one with the gray label, and I think it was $77. I'm not sure. You'll have to check uh, online. But that's the one that that will transfer raw images onto your device. So from your camera to whatever device you're using, it'll it'll transfer raw. Just know though that raw takes a little longer to transfer. In fact, that shot that I just took still hasn't got onto this device yet. It takes anywhere from 29 to 35 seconds. Uh, the other two cards will transfer JPEGs. And a JPEG and this and this the gray card will also transfer JPEGs as well. And the JPEG, the, the lowest uh, quality image, oh, five, six seconds. The highest quality image uh, is right around 10 to 12 seconds. Again, it depends on your megapixel, your camera. You know, mileage may vary, so just so you know. Okay, so it did upload those just now, but I'm going to go ahead and test this uh, with a shot. I've, I've uh, you know, the camera is, is awake now. It's tethered to the iPad wirelessly. I'm going to take a shot. And it is now going to look for it on the iPad. And if you look, and I don't know how much glare we have here, but at the bottom it's showing the progress of the uh, image being transferred. Again, I'm shooting in RAW, and I'll change it to JPEG here in a second so you know the difference in speed. But it is about halfway right now and I'll go ahead and set this down as soon as it loads I will uh, I will show you that I'm going to change the setting on my camera because I have it on two second delay I was out shooting night shots last night so I'm gonna put it on just single single speed and it's about three quarters of the way loaded now and we're almost done so Again, right around 30 seconds, we can look at this and when I post-process this using Adobe Premiere, and we'll see exactly how long it is. Looks like it's about to finish. It's finished. So here's the image. Uh, right out of the, uh, you know, it's my RAW file, right out of the, the camera. And again, I don't know how much glare is on that, but uh, it's of Santa and Frosty. Let me take one in JPEG, so I'm going to switch my camera. And I'll put it on the lowest quality here. So let me go back into my Wi-Fi. I'm going to go into my camera, make make those settings to JPEG, and the JPEG I'm going to say the lowest quality. And I'll I would never shoot in the lowest quality, but 
just for purposes of speed, I'm going to show you right here. And I'm going to zoom in on Frosty this time. And there's the shot. And we're already done. It's already loaded. So that's how quick it was with, uh, with the lowest quality JPEG. It's, uh, that was probably about two seconds. Uh, I'm going to switch it to the highest quality JPEG now. And we're going to take a peek on how fast that is. Let me get into my settings here. This should just take me a second. I'm going to go into the highest quality JPEG and take a shot of Santa this time, up close. And we'll see how fast that is. Again, it's loading pretty darn quick. And it's about uh, halfway now, so with five seconds and it's done. So let me pull him up. And again, that's the highest quality JPEG. So some people that still shoot JPEG, you know, definitely well worth it. Raw folks, you know, you, you know, just expect to wait 25 to 35 seconds to get yours up. But uh, very nice. No wires. You're not tethered. Your wife can sit on the couch and you can take pictures of your daughter opening presents at Christmas, and she can look and see them instantaneous and say, that's the one I want you to print, instead of being stuck on the computer. Okay, so with that, I'm going to close. Have a great day. And just so you know, I, I don't work for the company iFi. I don't own stock in iFi. I, I wish I did because they think it's going to be a very successful company in years down the road. And again, they've been in business. I remember them advertising in, in 07, or it might have even been 08. And I thought, pretty cool, but expensive. And it's gotten really cheap. And it used to be, I think, when they first came out, you had to subscribe to a company to upload. And uh, I even set mine to upload to my Flickr account, or, you know, I don't have a Facebook, but you... I think there are different places you can actually upload these directly to a site, but I don't really like to upload something that I just snap and, you know, I mean, it might be a terrible shot that I need to go delete it from my Flickr. So um, that's something that you can choose to do or choose not to do. Anyway, I just wanted to, you know, make that little caveat that, hey, I don't own stock in this company, nor do I work for them, but I love... I love the card, and I also uh, love the technical support. I mean, you get on the phone, and they are genuinely, hey, we're going to make sure that you're successful in getting this up and running, and they know what they're doing.